Hi and welcome today with us we have the epitome of couture and he needs no introduction we have Manish Malhotra here who's going to talk about couture and his upcoming collections and of course how he has evolved over the years in fashion Hi Manish and Hi. welcome thanks Thank you so much for taking out uh, the time to talk to us uh, of course it's been like so many years and we've seen like very very glamorous collections from you know starting off from your uh, costume designing days until now how do you think that um, fashion has evolved over the years so my costume designing days are yet not over I, it's the 29th year in costumes and next year will be 30 years of movies and for me it's been a very very i think in the entire indian fashion um, story and segments and 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 the whole demographic of indian fashion my story is the most unique because it starts with costumes i'm not trained i'm self taught <clears throat> from costumes coming into mainstream and uh, and i think learning in that entire process i'm very fascinated with color and sketching and drawing and i worked my way uh, hard you know and 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 understood what things were and consistently worked on that and then when i got into mainstream it was completely completely different and it took me time to understand my own narrative and what it is and i think that where fashion has really evolved today is there's a lot of awareness there's a lot lot of awareness today there's a lot of social media awareness as well you're stroking your phone and you see kind of suddenly you see a uh, international designer and their fabulous work and you see a new designer who's who's young bright um, and then you see a senior designer and you see all kinds of different uh, work of different artists so you selecting what you want you have variety today so for each designer is to be putting up his best foot forward to stand out and also another change that i really really seen in indian fashion or fashion worldwide is there's a lot of um attention to various different segments whether it could be shoes whether it could be your office wear whether it could be your casual wear it, you know there's there's just t-shirts there's just white shirts you know there are different segments to it so the fashion is extended expanded and there are different small segments and there are designers who are taking up one narrative of storytelling so today you have when you're looking at white shirts yeah. and you just stroll white shirts there's so many designers who are doing white shirts you know so i think people are today not fearing being themselves they they don't fear dressing up they don't fear dressing up the way they want to and uh, the self expression is completely out there and i think that is great that is a huge change i see like you were talking about social media and social media coming in do you also think that social media has actually paved way for a lot of imitations how do you take uh, you know these things of people copying your designs <coughs> and selling them and and of course there's a well, huge one part is imitation is flattery yeah. you know it is is the best form of flattery and and, uh, and of course when it is social media uh, when you want to the whole world to be aware of what you're doing you're all already putting it out there and that makes it much easier to for people to follow, follow. However, of course, today there are a lot of um, uh, law and order situations where you can take a certain stand and you know and, and stop the uh, production or the copying of what's going on. I think it's wrong, of course, and it's not it's not fair. But uh, today it is there, and I think that it it is something that you have to partially take it as flattery and partially put your foot down to stop like what's going on. Also you were telling us about your period film coming up. Please tell us how was that? How was the experience of you know researching and of course it's totally a uh, different genre. So I've of... never really got period films to do yeah. because I think people associate me with glamour and fun and Bling and, fun, and you yeah. know and color and and all of the happy uh, yeah. you know moments and glamorous moments and of course all the movies that I've done in Takht which has been produced and directed by a director by Karan It's of course a larger than life film. It's, it's it speaks about the Mughal period, the empire. Uh, you know, it speaks about uh, how grand it was, and it speaks about. And of course, the director, I mean, Karan as a director would want his own storytelling in that. And and for me as a costume designer, it is a huge challenge to me. I mean, of course, I did the play Mughal Azam, yeah, and I did about five hundred fifty costumes that, yeah. in that. And but this is of course that was a play. These are lots of big artists. uh it, it's 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 the mogul empire and it's true gloss element it's kind of exciting me challenging me pushing me to find out a lot of things that i have not really uh you know done before so for me i think it's a, it's something which is very exciting and the fact that it's coming in the 30th year of my career yeah. um where i'm now working with a fourth generation of actresses 
makes me feel already makes me feel like a reward you know were there any new textiles or any new techniques that um, you know came out when you were researching the ajrak prints there yeah. are different formation of fabrics um then there's a lot of grandeur of trail and uh, you know whether it's a farshi whether it's a choga but it's so many things so many different with the gararas and um, you know so and in, in the, the kind of embroidery which has to have a very old world um what was quite amazing that i see is the preciseness that this jewelry whether it's embroidery whether it's the colors there is a certain kind of a very clean neat a uh, very very um, specific motive the way the garments were there was something it's so stylish today when we see it but there's yet something so unique and different in all of them you know i find the embroidery everything very detailed it it's, it it just speaks up such a uh, focused clean mind um, but even if you see architecture i mean you know you don't really study clothes for clothes necessarily you look at the architecture you look at the whole entire mood that existed and for me i'm reading a lot on it what did the people think how did they why did they wear all of it it's a complete uh, mood of that time right which we kind of uh, yeah. deposit in the clothes and everything how much time do you think that you'll take to meet these oh my god i i'm telling you like i i remember during diwali we had anil kapoor's look test and we had ranveer singh's look test and vicky kaushik i kept telling them i said the diwali days <laughs> there's so much work it is one back to back i never cut on like everything perfect and he trust on uh, so much on me on that there was like a whole sword on my uh, you know head but um, yeah as we go there are such seven principal characters and each one has their own story and they each one has their own sense of style because they were also very very individual people yeah. and um, and when you are very individual and you are strong minded and you have a certain way you think there's a certain way you dress yeah. it could be simple it could be chic it could be over the top whatever it is it is your style you're at the peak where everybody wants to reach what is next for you well next for me i'm really looking forward to 2020 because 2020 february is when i complete uh, 20, 30 years in movies and uh, in july it's 15 years to my label i've just started with jewelry and a uh, home and um, all of it and i want to launch a very very affordable a uh, young label which is wearable and it's of course occasion wear but all of that so there's always more to do and then i hope that i can do more and more and uh, there's never really end to any kind of work or any kind of creativity i mean movies is something that i really love as well and uh, i will always like my association and my journey with films i mean i come from an outside world yeah. i come from a very simple listic upbringing i come from uh, i'm not from the movies i i of course i lived in mumbai but it's not that i had any film contact or any such yeah. thing i mean it on of course the, the first assignment of course my sister cousin sister married david thaman and and uh, that's why and thaman's dad yeah. and that's why i got my first film because not because i was her cousin but because he, they saw some of my work right. i was just starting with when i stepped into indian fashion after 9 years of costume designing and getting popular with my work i felt like a complete isolated alone um you know because i think the fashion fraternity always looked at me as a costume designer and hey what are you doing here but i think that absolute focused determination that absolute focus that no i'm here to do good work i'm here to uh, not only increase um my brand but also increase a lot of employment increase a lot of things uh, i've gone on and on with myself i mean there's a time when when people were bashing sequins and glamour and glitter and today they are wearing it all over so people change seasons change so i think your own style is consistent Consist. of course it has to reinvent and it has to go on but do i still feel like an outsider in the film fraternity i think that first i looked for a nod from my own fraternity but i think when you grow uh, and you evolve and you don't look for that nod anymore then you are happy with the world and the people you know reacting to you buying your clothes wearing the clothes looking good feeling good and uh, as you grow in that that gives you that satisfaction then you don't want anybody else's not thank you so much manish thank you so much